so now this folder has full access only by the admins we can apply it and we're gonna close so this folder if you can go properties you can see it's shared it, that's the name and you can see that uh, only administrator from the domain have access to it so close and you can verify it by going to your network and you can see in seven laptop and server 19 right there and you can see our network install software install is right there so <clears throat> what we what we want to do is we want to go to our remote machine and we want to go to that network folder we can turn on the network discovery so you can see all the folders in there you're gonna pick up all everything on my network <clears throat> you see the Windows 7 laptop right over there already it hasn't picked the Windows server right now so we may have to refresh it one more time and something else popped up Windows server still no So, network, right there, server 19, you see that? It's a little buggy, I think it's latency issues because of the uh, back and forth. So we can go here and we want to install the Firefox on this machine. So basically, uh, what it's gonna do is, it's through the remote desktop connection we are installing Firefox on that Windows 7 laptop that's right here and it will be installed over there and my little helper right here wants to uh, do the thing no not yet all right so it's asking do you want to run it we're gonna say yes now the other users kicked out uh, he and we're just installing it over there and here's the installer it's, you can see it's running on the Windows 7 and if I it's a remote desktop connection over there that's my um, desktop and this is the remote one and Firefox is being installed on the laptop uh, right now So you can see the Firefox window is up uh, inside my um, laptop. It's trying to go online, give me the privacy notice and all that. And on the bottom you can see it's the Windows 7. So I'm done, I'm kinda, I, uh, I have installed the Firefox over there. I can actually end the remote desktop connection. I have successfully installed the browser for the user that had called in. I can to end the remote desktop section, uh, connection we use to minimize to get our desktop actual desktop so to end the remote desktops connection just click close it will give you an error message which will say will be disconnected we're gonna click on ok and we're out now my little helper can log into his uh, this one right here make your computer easier to use with type without the keyboard on screen press keyboard shortcuts one key at a time apply cancel chalo bhul gaya aapko control alt delete control alt delete yeah so ye wale button ye ve oh he forgot to arrow had a brain freeze for a moment all right so now yeah uh, yep all right, so now now we're gonna give the uh, local user password. I'm sorry, uh, domain user. And let's see, he logs in and Firefox is right there. You can see on the uh, left side there, Firefox is installed and This laptop has Firefox. 
we can go to a website for example YouTube and click on YouTube and they are connected so if anybody is wondering uh, the remote desktop connection it does work over Wi-Fi uh, the pixie boot does not work over Wi-Fi it has to be connected with the Ethernet cable all right so you can see you can go to YouTube or search for it it's loading for some reason but My internet is not working now. What's going on? I turned on the... Okay, it's saying server not found. Let's fight it one more time. And see if we're able to go online. I turned off the Wi-Fi thinking that it will go through the... Um, Ethernet cable like auto automatically pick it up. I I guess it did not. So you see that orange light over there? I turned it off. And okay. Let's turn it back on and see if we can are able to All right, so the Wi-Fi is working. It does over the Wi-Fi, not for the Ethernet cable. I think I have to go and check the Ethernet connection or something. But uh, you see, the Firefox is working now. Uh, we can end this video. In the next video, we're gonna try the uh, third-party uh, software to deploy uh, through a software. For example, like I mentioned, if you have 100, 200 computers, you cannot remote desktop all the time or you have to just update it. You don't can't uh, kick out users. Uh, you have to do it silently. So if you can use that uh, software to push the uh, deployment and install it. So see you in the next video. If you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.